Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashishnet here and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United Cybertron Universe Vector Prime. Uh, anybody who knows me, uh, you know, the, the Unicron trilogy isn't really my bag, but there are just certain characters who stand out for me, including this one, Vector Prime. I have him on a flight stand, his port is obscured by his arms, so, huh. But uh, he looks cool, so we'll look at him in a minute, let's move him out of the way. And um, what we have here is the box, and of course in the box was the um, instructions in the Don't Hurt Yourself paper, so remember, don't hurt yourself. And taking a look at the box, um, got bent in the delivery. Weirdly, because uh, I got this from uh, Amazon, and um, they put them both in one envelope. It was one of those paper recyclable envelopes. So one of them got beat up. The other one's for Moose, so whatever. Anyway, uh, so you see the vehicle mode in the front. You see his alternate mode and his face on the side here. Uh, in the back, of course, the conversion, uh, robot mode. He, oh, he has a separate planet key, uh, ship mode. Here's the typical United side. Here's the top of the box. And we move on with our lives. So here is Vector Prime, and uh, he looks pretty good. Got him in this flight stand. And... Um, yeah, so let me pull that off of here, and I'll show you where the port is. It is between his arms, so I wasn't kidding about how obscurely difficult it is to get to. So we are going to start in vehicle mode, because uh, by the time this comes out, everybody and their brother's probably done it from the way it's impacted in box, which is in, uh, um, you know, bot mode. But uh, let's take a look at the deco here. It is a nice, a lot of just nice gold trim, for maroon and gray, and uh, you know, cyan. Um, so it just looks really good. And then, of course, uh, got these. These are very adjustable. They do fall off. I feel like somebody's going to make a uh, piece to basically secure them in there. Uh, hopefully, uh, because they definitely need it. Uh, of course, he does come with a sword. And as I mentioned, Cyber Planet Key. Uh, so, yeah. Um, my problem right now is just the chest doesn't really lock in in vehicle mode. And, I mean, really, it's just, just this. So... Be careful with it, I guess. So, at the start, we will detach the sword, and I'll show you that, if it'll let me. There you go. So, it is, uh, I guess this is uh, some type of sword he's known to have. Uh, it it's, uh, has a handle that's on a, you know, I want to say a ratchet, but uh, it, it has a, you can, you can do this. It, it's a handle. Ah, okay. So... We'll start by detaching the arms off the bottom here, and they are on these double joint armatures, um, so you need to pull them up. And if you want to get your arms ready to, to go, uh, you just go ahead and pull the hands out, close the panel back up, pull the handle out, panel back up. Uh, the hands have opening fists. So maybe something I've decided all primes must have is articulated hands. Uh, it's not like there's a matrix for him to feel up or anything, but whatever. Pull these guys out, and you can pretty much leave it right there in the heat pose. Uh, so, I think the next step will be to unplug the wings. The wings were tabbed in down here. Uh, yes, the other bit from wings from the uh, the other figure that it's based on uh, is there. I'm just going to move these kind of out of the way. Actually, maybe it would be better if I do this. Uh, the legs, you can do that. Also, remember to undo the toes. Uh, they are attached to the bottom here. Um, mine are really tight in the bottom there, but the legs are fairly l loose as far as this. Well, actually, maybe I'm wrong. Putting it together felt loose, but I, I guess it's not so much. Anyway, fold out the toes. Come on. There we go. Uh, and then it just nestles in here very nicely. And um, pull these apart. And then, of course, these leg pieces fold back. These are, you know, the back, uh, back wing, I guess. And then once we have that done, uh, we can try to fold out the head and the upper body is, let's attach that. Oh, don't forget to take out the cyberplanet key and let me show that real quick. Just a small piece of blue plastic as a pain in the butt to get out of the box. Um, I'm actually curious about something while I'm looking at this. Can one plug into the other? Yeah, okay. So that's a good way to keep them together so I don't lose it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, back to here. Uh, so basically, once you have this open, you can swing about, see if I can get it to, well, let's see, let's do this first, fold this over, there we go, pull this out, come on head, there we go, uh, this, you flip around, this becomes this chest, 
pull that in. There is a, a, a like a little peg here that slides into the front of the chest. And then these wings, you can do what you want with them. I'm not quite sure how I'd want to pose it. Uh, twist the waist. Make sure your legs are separated. Uh, the arms, again, finish connecting them. Pull up the shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. Now, my arms are fairly loose, but, you know, at this point, uh, what are we expecting? Uh, go ahead and put the... You can put the cyberplanet key in his chest. And you can give him his sword. Uh, the sword also can basically peg in back here if you wanted to. And, uh, yeah, waist is super loose. So, not a big fan of that, but let's take a look at him. Here's his face, chest, legs. So, yeah, he still has some of the pattern work from the previous use of the mold. Uh, but, I mean, I think it's a lot... Enough changed to make it its own thing. So let's see. Um, I'm going to stand up. Here we go. And uh, that's pretty much it for Vector Prime. I'm trying to make this cape look grander than it is, but uh, hopefully your copy is tighter in the right places because uh, mine is just being a jerk about it and the head popped out of place. Of course it did. There we go. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.